it's a migration of a visual works by client to a, a web interface, a C side interface. Mm -hmm. um, depending on how this network connection works, this is actually the beta system running right now. And the part of it that's interesting, next year I hopefully can do a nice talk about this and talk about some internals, but um, speed is a bit of a iffy thing. I don't know what get. Um, <coughs> So, just want to kind of show you the views are generated from um, a visual work spec and translated into um, seaside uh, components that we can then use. Uh, each call goes to uh, a shared uh, seaside session or have an image of multiple gemstone sessions that the seaside session shares. Uh, take the tag. So each keystroke is actually doing a call to Gemstone to get a list of things to select from. We have to map what was effectively a multi-window interface to a web model. So what we use is these navigation tools up here. So it's a, like a breadcrumb model that they can move backwards and forwards from. Uh, we give them the ability to pin them if they want to so that they during the session and want to jump around and look at something else. Uh, they can do that. One of these is uh, they, they also have this like explorer type multi-column interface. Again, I'm a little iffy on the Wi-Fi normally within the environment, like within our uh, within the office on the land, it's actually really quite semantic. And if they want to, they can navigate back. So these, we're trying to give them kind of the, the window experience, even though it's a seaside type of environment. Uh, they can look at, they can have their own list of favorites. They can look at uh, what they've looked at in the session. So if they need to, I don't know if I've got this implemented on the data or not. So as they jump around between things. Did you say this was ported from a desktop? Yeah. Right, so what you're looking at here, mm -hmm. these, Visual, the layout and all that is actually from a fact client, a visual works fact client. So we parse the window spec and we build out uh, um, seaside components, each of which understands some metadata about itself, what attribute it represents, um, how it should look, and so on. So this is the environment that our users would actually be testing with right now. And when we develop, we develop in a uh, fact client, a visual works fact client with the memory model being the resource for our estimate test. So we have like a large resource that we build up one of the resources, like a demo version. Mm -hmm. So as developers, when we're doing the code, we work in, in memory and uh, deploy on Gemstone. And then we've also got, uh, this is my, so here I'm sharing four Gemstone sessions on this particular image. And the performance isn't too bad, those are millisecond counts, so anywhere from five to 200 milliseconds with a few outliers. Then what we do is we target the outliers to see where we're spending our time. And it's, a, it's not a bad way to do it. Each call has to be restful because we are going down a separate um, gemstone path for, uh, for that session. And then for the production deployment, we're using polycephaly two with uh, multiple Visual Works images, each of which has multiple gemstone sessions, and we're looking at that as kind of our scaling model, and we're going to get some numbers together and see how it scales. But so far, it's it's working <coughs> reasonably well. They've got some nice little niceties. If they uh, have certain things they look at a lot, they can take any of these menu entries and, and drag them onto their personal menu. When you log in, you get your own personal menu. If there's things you're looking for and you're not sure where it is. Uh, like currencies, you know, we we'll find that. And depending on what we have, we have this like notebook interface on the fat client. We have a simple, and, and what happened was the, the tabs, if they went too long, they'd have to scroll along, they didn't like it. So if there's more than, I think, six, we put them off on the side now. We can parse it and be smart about recognizing how to lay out things to that place. So if there's more than six that go off the side, if there's less, then they go on the top, little things like that. Um, and there's also, uh, those are the views that are driven from VisualWorks. We also 
had a bunch that we were looking at as, as part of portal views. Um, let's see if I'm jumping on. If I got the, I got that. I'm trying to remember which one was useful to show. Uh, so if I go, and again, I'm kind of iffy on the, on the network connect. But I'm going over a VPN over the Wi Fi in order to get to this. So, Lord knows, I don't want to think about what I'm doing here. But, uh, something like a matrix display, which is kind of hard to do in a, in a visual works environment. Okay, so that loses the connection. It's, I've been testing this before, and I've seen these long pauses on the, on the network. So, um, so, this is something that looks nice. Then we can do things like, you know, um, fly over where they can go in, do some edits and so on. So there's nice little visual niceties that we can do this way. So it's all generic seaside bit of JavaScript. And again, the bottom part is crafted for the seaside interface. The top part is parsed visual works windows back. So we kind of do a hybrid approach as well. So we've got other views that are like Gantt charts and, and things like that. So, so we're, we're trying to give them a richer experience uh, the nice thing about this is we have to go down this path because the application reporting has a couple of thousand uh, UI classes, so thousands of window specs. Many of those are deeply, deeply nested. So when you're looking at things, you're looking at components that are nested in components, this is the components. So for us to have rewritten all that by hand or try to import it as a handcrafted application isn't an option. Um, so it, it's coming along. We're kind of in the middle of the heavy data testing. Um, September 1st is supposed to be when they do the large rollout for beta test, and then January 1st is supposed to be a lot, so a little bit of pressure to get them working. <laughs> but I think it's looking all right. So, yeah. 